for our next criterion in the decision support model, we are going to use the hours of sun on December the 21st, the winter solstice. We have values from 0 to 8 hours in Fort Kent, and we are going to reclassify that in ranks just like we did for the Euclidean distance. So search for tools, reclassify, input raster is now the hours of sun on December 21st. We're going to give this three ranks. So classify, classes three. And we're going to, let's look at this, a value of five would put us right in about here. So five, there's not too many cells that have less than five, but those should get a low rank. We would not want to build a house there. Too much shadow. Now from five to, let's say, seven, that's a decent amount of sun, but from seven to 8.1, that's going to be getting the most sun, and it looks like most of the pixels in this raster are in this value range anyway, so this is going to get the highest rank. So then we hit OK. So zero to five gets a rank of one, a very low value. Five to seven is OK. 7 to 8.18 is getting our highest value of 10. Say OK. And now that's a reclassification of that model so that we can see our 1s are our deep shadow areas where we would not want to build. Our 5s have a good bit of light. And our 10s, this is the highest ranked value where you're getting the most amount of sun. So these are the places you would most like to build your home to get good solar gain.